Hey yogis, happy holidays. I have two things I want to share with you in this video. The first one is something I'm adding to my live streaming this coming week. And the other thing I want to share with you is top five tips to have a calm and enjoyable holiday season. So the first thing is last week I launched my 5.45 a.m live meditations and it just it felt so right it felt good for me a lot of people were logging on and commenting a number of people signed up uh, new members joining the group um, to practice with me and it just feels right so that continues 5 45 a.m live meditation monday through friday goes until about 6 or 605 but i'm adding on so on Mondays and Fridays, the start of the week and the end of the week, I'm going to roll into an asana practice as soon as the meditation concludes. So those people that, you know, have to get ready for work and head out, you know, they can leave the live stream when the meditation ends at 6 or 6.05. And people who have the time in the morning to stay can stay on the mat with me and we'll go right into a deep physical practice. It'll wrap up by 6.45, so a whole solid hour with meditation and asana um, in the morning before you head into your day. So that will be Mondays and Fridays. Very, very excited about that. So join me if you can. Um, and then the other thing are my top five tips for how to stay calm during the holiday season. So let's take the yogic Ayurvedic perspective on the holidays. First of all, it's a vata time of the year. And you probably know by now, but that means that the elements of air and space are dominant all around us. So think about qualities of air and space. A lot of movement, not very solid, not very grounded, um, light, volatile, um, frenetic, right? So in order to create balance this time of year, we want to apply opposites. Water and earth, right? Heavier, slower, more grounding. So we want to do that anyway this time of year, but then think about the qualities of our lives or the qualities that are present in our lives during the holiday time. Obviously there's whichever holidays we celebrate and that includes more parties, more events at school, more running around and shopping, um, a lot of kind of outward and more frenetic energy. For some of us, it brings up anxiety and maybe sadness. And, and if we are planning on spending time with family and there's challenges there, it just literally can stir up a whole lot. It, it, it means a lot more is added no matter what you celebrate. It's just the season of more. So we really want to apply the opposites as much as we can during this time of year. So my first tip that will immediately reduce anxiety and help you to feel more calm is to meditate. Get on your mat every day or on your meditation cushion or in a chair if that's what's right for your body and get still at least once every single day. Now I'm doing these 5.45 a.m. meditations, so I'm there for you if you want to join that, or just something simple that you do yourself, and there are a million meditation techniques. It's about what's finding right for you and spending at least a few minutes every day in silence. It changes your brain waves, it changes your nervous system, it changes the quality of your awareness, it will positively impact your whole day and it will calm frazzled nerves. So number one, meditate. Number two, and this is certainly a part of, of good habit for Vata season, is stay warm and eat warm. So we really wanna be sure that our bodies are kept warm this time of year, especially if we do outside activities, layer up. I mean, I find my house gets so cold and drafty that even when I'm at home, if I'm not moving around a whole lot, I start to get chilled. So I always have my layers on. I have this puffy, 
vest that I wear because it keeps my core warm and I've got my socks on and hat on, especially if you go outside, keep your ears warm. Physically stay warm and eat warm. So this is not a good time for ice cream. This is not a good time for smoothies and cold drinks or raw salads. This is the time to stay warm internally and nourish on the inside. So soups and stews and stir fries and a, a warm salad, like a roasted beet salad, make an effort to move away from cold and eat warm. It's good for your digestion and it keeps your internal temperature warm as well. Warm drinks, you know, teas in the afternoon. I've been having a tea every afternoon and it's really good. It really makes me feel good. Okay, so that's number two. First is meditate daily. Have some time for quiet daily. Stay warm, eat warm. Number three, this might be hard, just say no. So what I mean by that is there's the holiday parties, there's the 85 million opportunities to volunteer at your kid's school. You know, there's all this stuff. There's work parties, there's friend parties. Don't do it all. If you try to do it all, instead of enjoying each of those activities and feeling in the joy of the season, you will end up frazzled, tired, depleted, and just downright cranky. So space it out. This year, I said yes to one big holiday party in San Francisco. It's already happened. And that's it. I won't be doing a bunch of other holiday parties. And instead of volunteering at every single event at my children's school, one or two that are reasonable. So, you know, maybe maybe you're not like me and, and you're not limit, limiting it to one, but one per week, right? So pace it out. Don't try to do everything. Conserve your energy. Less running around. Okay, so that's the third thing. The fourth thing is a little bit of self-care every single day. So obviously that's up to you. What is your idea of self-care? Is it a walk in nature? Is it sitting quietly for 20 minutes and sipping on that cup of coffee? Is it a warm bath? Is it uh, scheduling something for yourself, a massage? Um, you know, watching a favorite movie? One thing per day to take care, to fill your cup each day uh, this month, the holiday season, all the way till the first of the year, right? Because that's another one of the holidays that, that fills up our calendar. And then the last thing I would offer is a specific pranayama. If you're feeling really ungrounded or having anxiety or feeling overwhelmed is to take it a few minutes to do one to two breathing. So that means that the ratio of inhale to exhale is one to two. So that could be that you inhale for three seconds and exhale for six or inhale for four seconds and exhale for eight, right? One to two. Whatever breath capacity you have, it doesn't take but a few minutes of doing that, a minute or two of changing up the relationship of your breath there, of inhale and exhale, to calm the nervous system. So if you're having anxiety, you're feeling overwhelmed, you wake up in the middle of the night and can't go back to sleep, one to two breathing. All right, yogis, I am really intending to enjoy this holiday season to the fullest. I am following all of my own tips 100% and um, really practicing being present and every single day this month enjoying that holiday feeling, being kind to other people and doing the little things that bring me joy because really whatever it is you celebrate this time of year, I think we all want to feel that feeling of joy. It comes from the inside. Namaste, dear people. See you soon.